Louisiana Beer Reviews, Shiner Candied Pecan. This was introduced in 2018. It's an ale brewed with pecans, or as people around here say, include myself, pecans. I hear people saying pecans. With natural flavor added. So an ale brewed with pecans, and they have natural flavors added. 12 ounce bottle. Every drop of Shiner is brewed in Shiner, Texas, meaning they don't farm it out. There's no contract brewing. It's all done in Shiner, Texas by Spetzel Brewing. We toured that factory, that brewery in 2018. Very interesting. I would like to go back, but it is sort of far out of the way. Stay toasty with roasty pecans. Now here's the, there's no IBU listed. Here's what it says. When it's finally sweeter, oh, when it's finally sweater weather, can't even get it right, welcome it, the weather, with this candy pecan ale in hand. Brewed with roasted praline pecans, and there's praline shops around here. My mother used to make pralines, pralines. This robust porter provides subtle notes of roasted pecan, vanilla, caramel and brown sugar sound like this is a praline crafted to be the perfect companion companion to those cold quote unquote cold Texas winters well it was cold here today in Louisiana it's warming up now cold overnight okay so this is I can see now it's designed to taste like a praline There are a number of video reviews for this. No website listing. Most of their beers are not listed, from what I can tell. Um, you get the beige head like you get with the Shiner Bach. It's a much darker beer than Shiner Bach, though. It looks like black almost with the sun shining at it. But I can see some ruby highlights, and it's uh, caramel with the sun shining through it, meaning light brown bubbly 85 on beer advocate they call that very good I would call that good but also on untapped they're giving it a 73 which would be around a very good good to very good more like very good on untapped 73 they don't it's hard to get above a 70 there 49 out of 100 on rapier 25 out of 100 in the style so rapier absolutely hates it and says it's trash Because, I mean, if you're saying a beer is 51% bad, that's, I don't know how you could drink it. I wouldn't drink it. <clears throat> well, it smells like pralines, pecans, caramel, brown sugar, vanilla. All those things so that's the world of beer today beer that tastes like some kind of confectionery items basically they make the s'mores they make this other companies are making some more like products like campfire amplifier really strong in the vanilla notes it's starting to have a root beer flavor aroma like a, a Zatarain's root beer extract. If you buy a bottle of Zatarain's root beer extract, you're going to pick that up. That's basically what it smells like. Let's go with the taste. I'm thinking the IBUs must be around 35 because it's got a pretty bitter note. Probably from the pecan shells, pecan meat, the hops or whatever sort they're using be kind of probably using non-spicy hops you know hops would be very low profile in the flavor bread bread like a brown bread from the malts the grains um, vanilla brown sugar that molasses taste you know medium brown not the dark brown sugar 
light brown, I guess. Medium. And you get the nut. It's just like what I described. There's no use keep saying it again and again. That's what it tastes like. The body's light. Maybe to into low medium, but it's light to low medium. The mouthfeel is just watery. It's like water. It's not no oiliness, no slickness, no viscosity. Just water. Tap water from Texas, Central Texas. Makes sense. And it's a crisp, dry finish. So six percent. That's the same ABV level as Bud Light Platinum. I know that's a lager, malt liquor lager type thing, although they call it Bud Light. It's not light in any way. Prickly carbonation. Woof. Woof. This actually is light <laughs> in the body. So I'm trying to think of a light body 6% ale or lager, really. Um, that is light like this one. I can't think of one at the moment. 6% if it was a lager, it'd be going right into your bloodstream. You'd be saying, oh, strong. But in ale, they don't process that way from, from what I can see. So it'll have a delay reaction. But in a 12 ounce bottle, it won't really have any relax, any relaxion, any reaction. I like the twist caps. A BT used to make twist caps saying Arnold used to have twist caps. It was very convenient. Then somebody decided, oh, if you're a craft beer, you're, you can't have twist caps because it's not, <coughs> it doesn't have the cachet of having to pry it off for some reason. So anyway, score. Mm. I think B plus is fair. And I think I'll feel comfortable going with an 89, a B plus, a very good beer, a very good flavored porter, naturally flavored, no artificial flavoring or coloring. It's just uh, is what it is. So <coughs> beautiful dry day, one of the 45 days a year where we have dry, cool weather, no cloud in the sky. So lazy lay bon ton relay. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all go to Shiner, Texas and visit the Spetzel Brewery.